to another Counterside episode. So today's episode, we're going to be featuring Janus's strategy and build. But before that, if you want an updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, we're here right now uh, featuring Janus, Future at War. So Janus is actually a breath of fresh air since we've had a lot of awakened units so far. Um, counters and um, a little soldier and mech new releases recently. So he is one of, uh, I think it's going to, you know, give us a new perspective on, on PvE and on PvP as well. So Janos is actually an SSR. So he is a ranger, air type, and he also dishes out an all around attack. Okay, so let's take a look at the stats for Janos. As you can see here, Janos has strengths, a lot of strengths, but don't be fooled because once he transforms into a defender, he actually reverses some of those stats, okay? So right now, as a, you know, um, as regular stats, his strengths would be his HP, which is above average at 45, 4, 4, 2. Attack is also a strength at 5745. His defense is also high, which is his strength as well at 2126. And his crit is going to be one of his strength or last strength, which is above average. His weakness actually is going to be evasion, which is going to be obvious for mechs. And hit rate is also below average, which is not that bad. Can be, you know, can be mediated by gears. So let's take a look at Janos' uh, skills, guys. Okay, so when I told you that uh, to, let's say, don't you know make a fuzz about his strengths because um, his strengths, actually some of them drop down in whichever form he is in. So let's take a look at his skill info and his basic skill, which is his basic attack. It's an AoE, which has valid hits of two. Fires an energy cannon inflicting AoE damage on and around its target after transformation, which transforms into a defender, <coughs> swings its enemy energy arms instead of inflicting AoE damage in front. Okay, so basic attack, maximum of a plus 20 up to level 5. Okay, passive actually gets interesting. So let's talk about his first passive, which is combat conversion system. So activates its transformation system in case of emergency. When deployed, its defense is decreased by 90%. So as you can see, I told you guys, even if his stat was, was way up, um, once it's deployed, he is still a ranger. So his defense would naturally be below. So it's, it's going to only be 10% of what you saw or what is your existing main stat. So when, HP, um, when its HP drops to 50% or lower, However, transforms into a ground you ground defender with full defense. He you know he recovers a 90%, but 50% lower attack and crit. So again, there's a lot of things you have to play out in terms of uh, using Janos um, as his passive. Um, level two, three, four crit will be increased up to plus 20%, and level five after transformation attack and crit is only a minus 30 instead of minus 50 so this is his first passive so again um gears later we'll discuss on the appropriate gears in which which is for me is um i think his most uh, uh, what is most suitable uh, suitable for him whether it be on attack mode or in defense mode okay next would be his special skill which is calendar's arms it's an 18 second cooldown with valid hits of three fires a higher powered energy beam in inflicting AoE damage on, on and around its target. After transformation, choose an ener energy sword, inflicting AoE damage in front and forcing the enemies to attack it for 5 seconds. Which is actually not bad. So, again, I'm actually tempted to discuss gears now, but let's let's talk about it later. So, level 2, 3, 4 um, damage is going to be 25% additional for this skill. And cooldown is a minus 4 seconds, which will bring the cooldown to a good 14 seconds. Okay, so the last one, which is his passive, is uh, Janitor Mode Booster OS. Upon transformation, cast a barrier equal to 50% of max HP and becomes immune to hit stun and special 
special or lower skills for this buyer's duration. So levels 2, 3, and 4, this is going to be a plus 20%. And for level 5, for buyer duration, damage taken is going to be a minus 30% from rangers and immunity to hit stun. So he's going to be a good counter for rangers once he hits um, defender mode. But again, um, we'll talk about his gear right now to see if what are the, uh, the most suitable gear for him. Okay, guys, as you can see here, I was able to pull for Janus. Um, never mind the video. I'll, I'll go straight to what happened. I did pity Janus. So that's it. So um, I was not actually in the mood of recording um, pull. So I did pull, but eventually had to pity him. So again... I think it's okay because I had to burn my luck here in you know in one of the pulls eventually because I've I've had good luck before and so far. So this is actually one of my most bad pulls to pity a SSR. So as you can see, guys, in terms of his gear, there are actually two types of gear sets that I would recommend. Whether you go with first you go with attack. So if you go with attack. I would recommend you put on a CDR uh, gear set so that you could you could spam his special skill because again um, the cooldown for that is actually low but you could actually lower it and spam that skill and once he turns into a defender he would actually do more taunts because of that because of the special skill so I'm putting here CDR gear if you want to have him in a more tankier mode Definitely go with HP because HP is going to be is going to have a big plus um, for her uh, for his uh, ultimate. So those are the two gear sets for stats. Um, obviously, uh, go with CDR, go with HP, or actually go with hit. So those are because hit is going to be below average. It needs a little bit of a boost. So might as well if you have you know if you consider. Um, if you want to consider the yellow part of the stats, so let's open one. So this part, if you want to change that again, either CDR, uh, skill haste, uh, HP, or you can change that to hit. Because again, he needs hit stats. So as you can see here, I have hit in this gear. Um, I'm sure you guys have plenty of cooldown sets for mechs. I'm sure you've saved up already. So that is why I have completed um, his cooldown set. Um, because I have a lot of, uh, again, very good, very good cooldown sets. This one has hit as well. So might as well put hit on him. Because he needs that below average stat for hit to be up. But for tier 6 gears, um, if you have tier 6, um, might as well go again with the uh, maze set or gorgeous crown set so anti-ground damage resistance for maze um it's usually for his uh, for his weapon and for for the, the accessories um gorgeous gorgeous uh, crown is going to be more focused on hit which actually he needs so those are my tier six recommendations and it's a good thing that um he was actually out because mechs really need a lot of reinforcement because again the meta is in pvp especially is, is actually going crazy with a lot of awakens running around and let's go to his deployment guys okay so we are here in his deployment strategy preferably you deploy J janus um right after you've deployed tanks in front so that you know he could at least survive more as a ranger form so let's try to try to deploy janus here try to summon ground and air units so again um he really fires just a small burst so as for his special so that's it it's like a small photon torpedo which he fires he fires actually i think twice one oh no it's it's only once so again um spammy skill he has a, he actually has a slow um attack speed so it's better that that you actually take advantage of his special skill through cdr um and i hope i could lower his uh, hp so that he could transform 
let's see. At this point, I'm not sure if we can lower his HP and let him transform. But again, he's a good support. Um, support uh, to start as a ranger. Then eventually, mid-game, if he falls down, he is a defender which has uh, which has provoke or taunt, which you know um, makes your enemies attack him. So he's actually an overall utility, a good addition to your mech team. Okay, guys. So my final thoughts for Janus. So again, a fresh you know addition to mechs. Uh, well, really well, um, well timed addition because again, the mechs need really a lot of love and reinforcement. For PvP, this guy is going to be insane. We're paired with Coffin 6, so we still have to, you know, wait for Coffin 6. Coffin 6, by the way, is a ship. And um, more or less for PvE, once also Shadow Palace arrives, um, this guy will be good as well. But for now, if you're, if you're bringing mech teams and you need a reinforcement, this is actually a must summon for you. Okay, guys, so... So far, um, we have discussed uh, a lot with Janos. Um, I, for those who have not yet pulled for Janos, hope you have more luck in your pulls than I did. And um, for those who have stuck this far in this video, hopefully that you would consider subscribing and also click that bell icon so you don't miss any counterside videos. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.